The former president has condemned the articles published in the state media as it relates to the findings of the controversial COI and questioned the real reason this confidential report was leaked only to the Ghana Chronicle, even though it is yet to reach cabinet. Three days in a row, the, this, this commission of inquiry report was, was um, leaked to the Chronicle, leaked in inverted commas, and in spite of crocodile tears being shed uh, by Ramjatan, how he is so concerned about the leak. Imagine a vice president of this country can't tell you what, how the leak took place. Jagdia reiterated that the COI was used to tarnish the reputations of senior cops and he encouraged them to take legal action. I would say to all of the officers who were aggrieved, whose names have been dragged in the mud, deliberately so, that they should go to the courts too and block all of this. Question the COI and its motive. If there is any attempt to use the COI, not a careful report that is done about police reform, but this COI to affect the careers of these officers. This is pure witch hunt at its best. And if we sit, aside, sit quietly and allow this to happen, professionalism in the police force will be destroyed. He even argued that the findings and recommendations can never be partial, given that Paul Slow, the commissioner, was a part of the APNU campaign in 2015. Paul Slow had an axe to grind with the PPP government. And Paul Slow is acting on the basis of a vendetta. We believe, right, if the president was serious about such an investigation, he should have not appointed a Paul Slow to head it, because Paul Slow has bad blood with many people in there. He's a, an aggrieved party, as Adam Harris himself on Sunday pointed out. As Adam Harris himself on Sunday pointed out. So he was an aggrieved party, and he was a member of the APNU campaign team in the last elections. He was put there to do a hatchet job on the, the leadership of the police force. Jaglio believes that the COI is a classic example of witch hunting and that government intends to install sympathetic persons in the Ghana police force by destroying the careers of the current senior officials. So far, the state media has reported that the COI recommended the replacement of Crime Chief Wendell Blanham and his deputy, that the Commissioner of Police Silal Prasad be sent home, Deputy Top Cop David Ramnarine be sanctioned and the Assistant Police Commissioner Clifton Hicken be disciplined for failure to properly investigate the allegation of a plot to kill President David Granger. For the newsroom, Davina Samaru.